Despite the addition of Byron Murphy, as well as having second-year long, lengthy corners, Andrew Boot Jr. and Nick Caleb Evans on the outside, the Vikings would be remiss if they didn't partake from this prodigious class of fantastic cornerbacks, especially press man outside the numbers guys. Brian Flores loves to have in his scheme. Enter one, Maryland's Deontay Banks. Let's talk about the pride of College Park today. Background, Deontay Banks, 21 years young, six foot, a buck 97, former three-star recruit from Edgewater, Maryland, stayed in state uh, and started as a true freshman for the Terps. In fact, started his first two seasons. Uh, unfortunately, 2021 uh, ended with a shoulder injury after only 54 snaps, but 2022 Redshirt Jr. came back with the vengeance. 38 tackles, 8 passes broken up, 1 interception, a 43.3 completion percentage when thrown at, which is which is pretty good, as well as a 71.4 quarterback rating, 72 overall PFF grade, and was just dynamic and phenomenal uh, for the Terrapins in 2022. Combine-wise, like he was one of the stories. Like Him and his uh, fellow uh, Maryland cornerback teammate, Jacorian Bennett, were Absolute terrors, man. So he had the third fastest DB40 at 435. Great in the explosive jumps as well. And just showed really well. Really, really well. Uh, Lance Zerlein, NFL.com. This is right up. Premier corner with desired blend of size, strength, and athleticism. Banks is capable of release disruption from press. He plays with smooth hips and easy feet to pedal and glide around the field. He's capable of matching the release and running with his opponent. However... He struggles to play with poise and awareness when his back is to the football. He needs to play with better route anticipation and reactive quickness at the break point. But his eye-popping NFL scouting combine testing and scheme versatility should create interest from a wide range of NFL teams. Banks' first-round traits could become a cornerback one if he can play with better discipline when challenged. And Banks, like I said, great size, great length, great strength, uh, elite speed, 4-3-5, great explosiveness as well. He's an absolute alpha competitor out there. Like He wants that work. He he wants the ball coming his way, and it generally didn't. I mean, teams uh, tended to stay away from him, but he's a sticky mirror match, uh, man-to-man corner. He's adept at uh, tackling as well, great in run support, very feisty, going to get after it, also good in, in zone. Uh, he does need better ball technique, but that comes w- better ball skills, but that does come with NFL caliber coaching, refining technique. Uh, I think that him and the shoulder injury ending his 2021 season certainly set him back a little bit. Uh, But I think that within a year or two, uh, just given his traits, just given his raw ability, I think that he could become a Pro Bowl caliber cornerback. Uh, And also part and parcel with the technique is he did have eight penalties in 2022. Three of them were against Ohio State and um, yeah, Marvin Harrison Jr. So yeah, about that. But in terms of the quarterback hierarchy, specifically for the Vikings, uh, so Witherspoon's up at the top, but we're not even going to bother talking about him because there's no way he gets to 23. Gonzo is a great all-around corner. I think Witherspoon's the best man corner. Gonzalez is basically a do-it-all guy. Joey Porter, Porter is a great press man corner. Uh, Deontay Banks, great press man, good in zone. I think that he's sort of a diet Gonzalez. Uh, Christian Gonzalez, obviously a little bit more refined, but Banks is certainly up there. Julius Brents, the Condor from Kansas State. Cam Smith, super feisty Emmanuel Forbes. I mean, he's got great ball skills, but the 166 bothers me. Garrett Williams coming off the ACL. Kaylee, Ringo, he may be one of the better zone corners uh, in this draft, but specifically for what the Vikings need, that's why he's knocked down a peg or two. Uh, and then Clark Phillips the third. I love Clark Phillips, man. Like I don't care that he's 5'9", a buck 84. Pound for pound, he's one of the best corners in the game. Also, uh, LSU, Alabama, Eli Ricks didn't quite make the list. But, I mean, this is a damn good cornerback class, man. So the Vikings should uh, be looking to partake. And Deontay Banks at 23. I won't be mad at it. And you do see that pairing quite a bit in uh, mock drafts around uh, the the NFL. So there you go. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. A Vikings need to draft Maryland cornerback Deontay Banks. Thanks. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.